Hey everybody, Colleen here with Colleen Beauty and Fashion. So welcome to this video. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome for sure if you're new. This is a monster video and I mean that in the sense that it's big content, it's long, and there's a lot of stuff in it. So I hope you really enjoy it, but it's a, a little thing that I like to do a couple times a year, which is a closet declutter. So what I do is I go through my closet I shift seasons, so I take out the old season. In this case, it'll be summer that you'll see. I'm getting, I'm sorting through and deciding what I'm gonna keep and what I'm not. And then I'm gonna see what I have left for my capsule wardrobe and then what I need to add for fall, winter. Now, I have to admit as I'm filming this, I'm very late. I procrastinated a lot and I should have done this a couple months ago, but no time like the present, so let's get started. So this part is going to be part one and I'm going to start with tops and uh, then I'll do a part two video that'll be bottoms and dresses and things like that. So tops to me are the fun part. So this should be a lot of fun to go through. I, so what I'm going to do is just hold each thing up and I'll go through it and I'll explain to you what it is, why I bought it, maybe, you know, a little bit of detail and then am I keeping it or is it going and my thought process behind that. So. I'm going to start with some things that I have on the bed. They're things that are folding and not going in my closet. So I have them out here and then we'll move on to my closet. So let's go. So I think I'll start with the things on my bed and some of the summer items that I had and we'll discuss um, whether I'm going to keep them or not. So here we go. First of all, a little Missoni inspired this is a vest, you can see, a little top. Now, I wore this to death, and I do think that it's going to be wearable next season. We'll see about the color scheme and all that. So, but I am going to keep it. There's lots of colors in it, you can see, and I like the pattern. I like the pattern a lot. So it was very wearable this summer, so I'm going to keep it. Now, you can't see, but I have a suitcase and a box down here beside me. Keep the things that I want to keep in my suitcase. And then the things that I'm going to donate or give away, I'm going to put in the box. So this one for the suitcase, number one. Yay, we're started. So number two, I have this navy sweater. Now, you know, I love a marionaire. That's the French word term for this basic navy and white striped sweater. This is a classic, definitely a keeper. And it's a nice cotton, so it's very nice. This sweater I bought this summer, I ended up wearing it quite a lot. I like it because it's very airy, as you can see, and the colors were pretty, the pinks and the blues. You can wear a little um, camisole or tank top underneath it, so I will be keeping this one as well. This is a basic white sweater. I consider this part of my capsule wardrobe. It's cotton. It's not too dingy yet, so I think I have another year to wear out of it. So I'll be keeping that. This one. Now I bought this one this summer. Again, it's stripes. You can see. I think it's a beautiful classic Chanel look. So I am going to keep this one. I think it's just, you know, it's never going to go out of style. So I'll definitely be keeping this. We have this one. So again, stripes. Black with these colors. Now, this one is several years old. You might be able to tell by the colors in it. And I bought a new striped sweater that I'll be showing you later. So this one I'm going to be donating. So here I have a little t-shirt that I bought in the orange that was so, sorry for the wrinkles and all this, by the way. This orange was so popular this summer and it's off the shoulder and it's three quarter sleeve. Now, I'm not sure about this one for next year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna see but I'm not sure if I will actually wear this again next year. So we'll revisit when I do this whole process again in the spring. Okay, continuing on, I also have this bronze sweater, kind of metallic bronzy that I bought in the summer. It's been a really great sweater. Um, unfortunately, the little camisole that I bought that matched it, I got a stain on it, I couldn't get it out. But I am gonna keep this because I like the metallic and metallics are still in and I could even wear it this fall. So I'm actually gonna keep it for fall too with a nice black turtleneck underneath it. I think it'll look great. So this is gonna go back into my closet. And then I have this little navy shrug. Oh, upside down, sorry. 
which is just a cute little throw over classic color navy so we'll be keeping that for next summer too okay i think that's it for the summer uh, sweater so let's move on into what i've had from last year for fall winter and what i've bought so far for this year so let's start there so i bought this very cozy lovely sweater last year now i love the pattern and it's nice and soft and i love the cream color of it these two colors aren't exactly what the colors are in style this but i'm okay with it i mean not everything has to be perfect right so I love this sweater and I'm definitely going to keep wearing it this fall and winter. So I'll put that over here in the put back pile. So this is a long sweater dress in kind of a vest kind of thing. This is great. It's in a gray color that I can still wear this year. So I'll also be keeping this. I like to wear it over a turtleneck sweater dress or a um, like jeans with a big belt or and a turtleneck or you know, even a white shirt, it, this is a great piece. I really like it. I have my one and only black hoodie that I'm keeping. Now this is a new purchase. You've probably seen it in, if you watch my videos, you've seen it in recent ones. This is the colors that are current for this season. I love this sweater. It's very flattering on. So that's a new purchase and we'll be keeping that of course. This is a little sweater vest I bought in early fall in this kind of blaze orange pumpkin color. So that's very practical to be wearing for this fall winter. So that's a keeper. And this is a beautiful neutral oatmeal bat wing, which is a very stylish uh, shape for sweaters right now. And I like this color a lot. You can wear it with black, brown, you, you know, you can do an all oatmeal kind of colored look. And that's very classic, so. It's a new sweater and I love it, so I'm keeping that. And then I have one other thing that I have folded up here. It's not a sweater, it's a blouse. It's a very lacy kind of blouse. What I love about this one is that it's in a color that you can wear all year long and you can just wear it underneath something. So I just kind of keep it in my closet when I need something a little frilly, a little romantic that I can wear all year long. So that's that for what's on my bed. Now we get to move to what's in that closet back there, right there. Okay. So I've opened it up so you can see there, my closet. It's a shambles right now. So part of it will be to get it, you know, kind of reorganized again, but I'm just gonna go through, we'll just grab things. I'm focusing on tops today, so I'm only gonna grab the tops. Let's go. So the first thing I pulled out is part of my capsule wardrobe. It's a black blazer. This one has leather kind of accents and buttons. It's so old. I would love to be able to replace it, but I want to buy a really classic, really good blazer. So for now I'm hanging on to this, but it is my goal to replace it at some point. This is a new purchase. I love this color. And this is a basic, you know, these kind of v-neck shells that you can wear under everything this color is just beautiful and i bought a beautiful scarf let me show you so if you watch my channel doll, you know that i love scarves to tie an outfit together and look at this beautiful scarf i got this at melanie lynn in canada you see how it goes with that and it's reversible got a completely different pattern on the other side so just stunning, I think. So I love these two to wear with black or navy under a blazer you know, with pants and you've got a beautiful opposite outfit. So here's my navy blazer. Again, part of the capsule wardrobe. Again, older, I need to replace it, but it's a classic. This one's from H&M. It's a little shorter. Um, so, you know, the style isn't of the moment, but it's okay. I can get by with it until I buy a new one. Here I have a piece that I bought a couple years ago. This is a leather jacket. And again, I think this is just a neutral piece that I can hang on to. I wear it a lot actually, because it does protect you a little bit from the wind and the weather. I live in a very windy, rainy place in the fall and winter. So this is a good piece to have on hand. Now we're getting into some summer pieces that I haven't decluttered yet. So let's take a look at these two. It's a bad sign when you've got two things hanging on one hanger, you know, it's time to purge. 
This is a little summer outfit or a summer blouse I bought a couple years ago, I think now. And actually to go with that, you see that cowboy hat right there? I bought this to go with that. So at the time, the, that color was really in style, but not so much anymore. And to be honest with you, I haven't worn it that much. I find it just too big and blousy on me. So this one, I'm gonna donate. This one I bought this summer and I did wear it quite a bit. Um, I kind of am tired of it though. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of pinked out. How are you feeling about pink? Just kind of pinked out. You know, we've worn a lot of pink in the makeup and the clothing lately and I just kind of, mm. so I think I am gonna donate this one as well. And that gives me a new hanger. So I'm happy about that. Something I can buy to put on that hanger, I'm sure. So this one, yeah, I'm gonna donate. I have a brown silk blouse, satin effect blouse that I bought a couple years ago, I think. And I did wear it again last year, but way too big for me now. So I am going to donate this one as well. And I will be buying new silk blouses. I love them, but I want the current colors. And they're not expensive, they're from H&M, so it's easy just to make them current every year. I have this beautiful duster, and I think I did a video about my top favorite things that I have bought in the spring and summer, and this was really high on the list. I think my white jeans were number one, but anyway. Um, I love this duster. I wore it into the fall when it was still a bit warm. Um, I can't wear it now, it's gotten too chilly, but I am definitely keeping this for next year. It's a great piece. Here is a plaid blazer. Now, you may have seen this blazer before if you watched my original um, capsule wardrobe video. This blazer is not in style at all, but I love it. I've had, had such a time, hard time parting with it. I just love the colors in it and it's very flattering on. And Anyway, I've decided it is time to get rid of it, so I will be putting it in the donate pile, but sometimes, you know, there's some pieces that are really hard to let go, and for me, this is one of them. But it's time. Bye-bye, plaid blazer. Here I have a very funky top, and I have to tell you, this one's been in and out of the donate box a couple times now. I just can't seem to make myself part with it. It's a very interesting shirt and it's got these colors in it. I don't know, maybe it's time to let it go. But I struggled with this last time. I like the accordion pleats in it. It's a very unique piece, but to be honest with you, I didn't wear it. I think I wore it once this summer, so time to let it go. These are the conversations I have with myself as I do this, and I'm sure you have the same process. But lots of room for new things, so that's good, right? So here I have an animal print shirt. I actually bought this a year or two ago, I think, but animal prints vary in style. And I think this one's very flattering on me. It's got a little bit of ruching uh, through the middle here, which makes a nice flattering look. And so I will be keeping this one for sure. This piece is brand new. You may have seen my Amazon sweater unboxing. I do like it. I like the color. It's very heavy. It's almost a coat again. Like I would call it a coat again, actually. Um, so I'll be wearing it in that way, I think. It's a little big on me. So if I were to order for amp from another color in this, which I might do, I would order it a size down. So if you're looking at this one on my video that I just filmed, maybe consider going a size down. I don't know. I mean, it's okay to have it bigger, but because it's a coat again, but I find it just a little big. So I'm okay, here we go again. More pink. So over pink. I'm just over it. Like I don't, I wore this shirt a lot last summer and you know, it's a pretty color and it looks good on me and everything, but I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of it. So I'm going to be donating it. Here I have a classic black cotton shirt. You can wear this all year round. So it's definitely going back in my closet. It's a capsule wardrobe piece. My hanger full of tank tops and I have them in all different colors and I think every summer it's a good idea to just load yourself up on different tank tops in the current color. So I'll keep the black one, the black and white ones, and I'll keep this red one probably for next year. This green one I'm going to 
put in the donate pile. I don't think it's color aware again, although it was cute. But next year I'll get something new. So another piece of my capsule wardrobe is a tan or a neutral colored blazer. This is a summer version. So I am going to pack this away for the summer because it's a lightweight and it's the lighter tan color. In the fall, I favor a camel, a more camel color blazer. And I do have one. So this one is going to go away, but I'm definitely keeping it for next summer. So now we have a couple of print tops. So you can see this one is a fun print. It's a, you know, kind of spring summer color. It's green with navy. And I do like this color. So I'm going to see if I can get away with it next year. It's a fun little browse, little ditzy floral print. I'm going to keep it and see what the styles are next summer because I do like this one a lot. And I paid nothing for it. I got it at some outlet store. I think I paid $5. So you never know. This one, classic black and white floral. Or sorry, not floral, polka dot. Um, I'm not much into dots for the fall and winter, but I do like them in the spring and summer. So I am going to keep this one for next year. Oh, so here we go. More pink. Pink blazer and pink pants, which we will talk about in the next video. So this pink suit I bought early in the spring last year. And it's a pretty color. There's no doubt about it. But I am done with pink. So I am going to donate this beautiful blazer and hopefully somebody will wear it and love it. Here I have more tank tops in different colors because I guess I ran out. <laughs> but the more important thing is this white cotton button down. This is a classic for the capsule wardrobe. So this stays. Here's the other colors I had for the tank tops. I think I'll keep this stone one because I quite like it. I'll keep these red, yellow and blue too. And we'll see what happens next year. So I have another tan blazer and I certainly don't need two. So I think this one is a donate now. It was a nice classic piece. It's on the shorter side. You can see kind of a peplum blazer. Bought it at H&M, but it is really old now. So this one I'm going to donate. A couple more blazers now that I bought last year. This one is a kind of tweed herringbone plaid. Um, the colors are completely out of style now, and I'm not going to wear it much this year, I don't think. Although it does have the gray in it and the light blue. Hmm. Maybe I should hang on to it for now. I'll hang on to it for now and see if I buy something to replace it. That's what I'll do. This brown one, I love this color last year, and I did wear this quite a bit, but it's way too big for me now because I've lost more weight. So I have to donate it. This is a pretty satin peachy kind of pinky color. Um, it's actually more peachy than it's reading on the screen there. So it's too big. Otherwise I would keep it because I really do like the color, but it's just too big and baggy on me. So I'm going to donate it. It would look cute with this though. Like that would be cute with gray pants. Oh no. Mm, I might have to rethink this. You see how this goes? Sometimes I lose my nerve. Okay, I might keep this one <laughs> so bad. Anyway, I have this little purple crop top blazer as well. Um, I did like this a lot last year, and I wore this purple suit quite a bit. And I feel like it's a piece where I can keep the jacket, this jacket, and I'm going to donate the pants. So the jacket I'm going to keep for now. This is a lovely little lightweight neutral colored throw on that I bought a couple years ago but it's just a lovely little classic piece so I'll keep this for next summer so that's a great little piece to have and great for holidays too so and I am going away yay finally taking a trip so stay tuned for that that'll be fun because I'm going to vlog and shop on that trip in January so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one this is the second white button down I have. It's more fitted than the other, but it's looking a little dingy. I don't know if you can see, but the color is just getting, you know, eventually it's time. So I'm going to buy a new fitted one this year. And this is a little silvery gray kind of. It's too big for me, but I do adore 
this kind of color and the satin. It's really quite pretty, but it is too big, so I'm going to have to let it go. I'm not doing anything holiday right now. I'll do that closer to Christmas, but um, I do have a couple of holiday tops that I have to decide whether I'm going to keep them or not. This is a summer top. I didn't wear it at all last year, so it's going bye-bye. Um, I didn't pay a lot for it. Like all the things you know with the capsule wardrobe, the things that I buy that are seasonal or, you know, trendy, I don't spend a lot of money on. That's just kind of the rule. This is a lovely high neck tie, and the color's not too bad for right now, but it's too big. So I have to let it go too. And then I have this, as I mentioned, camo blazer. It's a little on the big side and I will be looking to replace it. What I really want, and I've wanted for a long time, it's on my wish list, is a Smythe uh, Duchess style camo blazer. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're about seven, $800 Canadian. So definitely would be a lifetime purchase. We'll see how it goes this year. Maybe, you never know, stay tuned. I might make it happen. <laughs> so I only have two more things now to show you. This is the first one. This is a little pinstripe black vest. Very in style right now. So definitely be keeping that. It's very flattering on too. And the last thing I have is this white linen blazer. And a white linen blazer is part of my capsule wardrobe. I think everybody should have one for the summer. But this one is starting to turn yellow a little bit. And that will happen with linen, you know. So you can't really clean it out. And it's kind of, you know, I've worn it a couple years now. So I will be purchasing a new linen blazer next summer for sure. And I suggest if you don't have one, classic piece, you should probably think about investing in one. So, so that's the end of my video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. That's only the tops. The bottoms are yet to come. So make sure you subscribe and like this video and stay tuned for the bottom parts. And that'll include dresses. And I'll also be going through my outerwear, my shoes and accessories and all that kind of stuff too. So lots more decluttering and fun to come. Now, what I have left now for my, these are all the empty hangers now that I get to go and fill up, <laughs> which is the exciting part, right? I definitely will take you along on that shopping trip to fill up those hangers because that's the fun part. And fall, winter 23, 24 has some great, great colors that I'm really looking forward to shopping. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like and subscribe and come along for the journey in that one. And stay tuned for part two of this declutter closet video. Thanks for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.